Hey, how about you, everybody? Welcome into the Wednesday edition of Inside the 20 with myself and Keith Niebuhr. It is our job to get as much recruiting intel to you with inside the 20-minute mark. I am Jeffrey Lee, host of the show, senior recruiting editor for Auburn Live on 3. If you're not a member of that site, you absolutely are missing out. Go check us out. we got a one week, one week free, as always. After that, I think it's 50% off right now. Joined, as always, on Inside the 20 is Mr. Keith Niebuhr. Keith, are you staying safe? Or are you staying dry down there in the yeah, Orlando I'm, area? I'm trying, man. I'm just trying to dodge this massive storm. And, you know, uh, we were going to leave. And then uh, I've got a buddy and his wife and kid. Uh, we, we had a hotel in Orlando. Then now it's looking like it's going to head to Orlando. So mm. we're just going to stay put for now, it looks like. But it's, it's a little terrifying. So this will take my mind off of it for a little while. Well, one way Keith was able to get out of Tampa was because of his new Ford Bronco. New, new Ford Bronco purchased with Caleb Schofield up in Mike, um, at Mike Patton Auto in LaGrange, Georgia. Wow, it's too early for me to be talking. Uh, but, hey, if you're looking for a new or used car anywhere in the country, man, because this guy delivers anywhere in the country. But he's in located in LaGrange, Georgia on Lafayette Parkway. He's got a huge inventory of used cars, new cars, new Fords, Lincolns, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and even Hondas, man. And then the huge selection of used vehicle lots, which Keith took advantage of. And uh, Keith, with his new, I mean, with his used car, got a multi-point inspection before he even got it. And then he's backed with a three-month, three-mile, 3,000-mile warranty. And all the new vehicles come with a free lifetime powertrain warranty, unlimited unlimited time, unlimited mileage. So give Caleb Schofield a call there in LaGrange, 334-531-0966. Also, Auburn Live subscribers, $1,000 off immediately. You like a car, it's $25,000, it's twenty four dollars to you. If you're not an Auburn Live subscriber, $500 off. So get signed up so you can save $500 on your, on your new car with Caleb. 334-531-0966. Uh, give him a call. The deal on the $1,000 off Sticker price ends September 30th. So you got three days. Give him a call. 334-531-0966. Keith, as you are staying safe there in Orlando, presumably. No, no, I, I stayed in Tampa. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's what I was saying. We didn't, we've had to change our plans trying to dodge this thing. So we're, I was not listening. Yeah, that's okay. You never do, Jeff. Hey, nobody <laughs> listens Jessica, Jessica can vouch for that. I'm a, I'm a often ignored, believe me. Yeah. Uh well. Keith, big weekend for Auburn and yeah. more than one way is the big game against LSU Saturday night under the lights in Jordan-Hare Stadium. Auburn is a touchdown or more. I think Zach said last night it was close to 10, 9 or 10 points underdog. Uh, but you never know with LSU coming to town what can happen in that game. We do know that Auburn will utilize this weekend as another big recruiting weekend, another big recruiting opportunity for Auburn. Right now we know of three official visitors coming in this weekend, one of which is a five-star. You've got – Alex Sanford coming over from Oxford, Mississippi, who is a three-star linebacker committed to Arkansas. You got Braden Joyner coming across town to do his official visit. He's the interior offensive lineman committed to Auburn from Auburn High School. And then the big one is five-star defensive back Tony Mitchell from Thompson, who has been flirting with Auburn. He's committed to Alabama. He's a five-star in-state kid committed to Alabama, and yet he still continues to listen to Auburn. He's been to a game already this year, and he's coming back this weekend for an official visit. I don't know. How do you take that, Keith? <sighs> yeah, that's a tricky one. You know, yeah, right? I, if a guy's officially visiting, it's not a bad thing because, you know, they say, okay, a kid wants to, a lot of kids will tell you, I want to take my visits. I want to see different places. Well, he's maybe go to places you don't normally get to see. Well, he lives in Alabama and he's been to Auburn a bunch. Right. right? So that's, that's interesting. I mean, look, we, we know that the challenge of flipping somebody from Bama is enormous. I mean, uh, one way to make it easier is if Bama doesn't want the kid anymore, but we haven't heard that at all. So we, you know, but it's a, it's a challenge, but you know, Auburn went and saw him play recently. I think that was a, uh, a second. Last weekend. Back, yeah. Zach Etheridge. Uh, they're recruiting uh, a teammate of his really hard, right? Stanton Ramil. Uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his last name. Right. Uh, I think Cole says Ramel. Ramel. Nope. Yeah. Shit. I don't know. You're Ramil, wrong. Whichever way I'll say, it'll be the wrong way. And I mean Pretty that, true. and I don't mean that to, to joke. That's a, uh, we need to get that right. He's a, he's a good dude, but, uh, you know, so they're, they're trying to get in at that school a little bit more. And, uh, but I mean, I'm talking in circles here cause I don't really know what to make of it. Uh, it, but again, it can't be a bad thing. It can't be a bad thing. And look, you know, if you look at Auburn secondary, there, there are some older and experienced guys. I mean, they brought in some Juco guys last year. Well, they're not going to be around forever. 
Jalen Simpson's not going to be around forever. Nehemiah Pritchett's probably going to be gone soon. Uh, you know, Keontae Scott, again, one of the Juco guys I brought in, he shows flashes that say maybe he won't be there forever. And plus he's older anyway. So th there is a need there. There's no question. Look, there's Jeffrey, when you look at Auburn's roster, there's big needs everywhere. And this is one of those areas. So Tony Mitchell may be saying, and I'm sure Auburn's telling him, there's a huge opportunity at Auburn trying to turn this thing around. You could come in and make your mark early. And that's appealing to most kids. Now, again, if you, does that get you across the finish line with somebody? No, that sometimes is just a starting point or, or helps you get your foot in the door. But he's listening. He's always listening to Auburn. Before he committed to Bama over the summer, he had told me that, hey, I was – he look, he said I'm going to officially visit Auburn. It was originally set for late October, I believe. Right. And then he put out a top – what was it, Jeffrey? A top four or five, and then a week later he committed to Bama. Yeah, you know, kind of out of the blue. Um, we haven't heard yet if Bama has any concerns or not. Now, I, I'm sure they don't want him visiting, but, um, I mean, he's – look, this kid does his own thing. I know he's been to A&M. Yeah. He, um, Went last weekend to AM, yeah, I believe. He does, he does his own thing. He beats his own drummer. So uh, I, I think the relationship there with Zach Etheridge is really key here. I think yeah, I would Zach think so. has been on him for a long time, has developed a really good bond with him. I think it was the Mercer game he came down for the opening game. Was that right? Ah, I gotta remember here. You, you keep talking and I'll I'll look <laughs> that up. I, I think it was it was early. I think it was the second game of the year. Was it, it was one of those – yeah, it was one of the first two games, either Mercer or San Jose State. I don't think he came for Penn State. It was San Jose State. It was San Jose State, State because Stanton came down for the Penn State game. Stanton, the offensive lineman who is committed to – Michigan State. Michigan State. Speaking of which, you went and talked to Clay Whedon last week. He's uh, committed to Michigan State. A lot of these offensive linemen Auburn was in on early ended up committing to Michigan State in the later parts of the summer, including Stanton and Clay Whedon. Uh, but back to the vis official visitors, I think Alex Sanford. Now, Cole's, Cole's, mm, Cole's kind of our Alex Sanford expert. Yeah. He's been in touch with Alex, but he's passed on some – Cole is convinced um, that if Auburn pushes for Alex Sanford, they will get him. Well, and I think they're going to push, don't you? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. I do. Uh, this kid – and I have talked to him. I talked to him last week, as a matter of fact. Uh, I thought he was going to Arkansas, but they were playing in Dallas. Uh, so he was uh, he was extremely fired up about coming to Auburn. He loves and, – and I don't know the reasoning here. He's from Oxford, Mississippi. But, man, he is all about some Auburn right now. He's all about some Christian Robinson. So getting him on campus this weekend could absolutely change the trajectory of his recruitment. He is – and you're talking about committed to Arkansas, who is, you know, three, four years ago it was committed to Arkansas. You know, Auburn can swing him. But, not, you, you know, they just fell out of the top ten this past weekend after a loss to a &M. Yep, yep. Well, think about this, Jeffrey. Who does Arkansas play this weekend at home, right? Nope. Alabama. Where is he going? He's going to Auburn. So this is – you know, we don't talk about that. Look, you know what positions we talk the most about? O-line and D-line, because that's where, of all of Auburn's big needs, the biggest are probably there. We we don't always get into the linebacker position, but linebacker is going to be key this weekend because not only do you have Alex Sanford, who, who we all think Auburn has a real chance of flipping. Apparently, the family's not only him, but his family really is high on Christian Robinson, Auburn's linebacker's coach. But Jay Nosberry, right? Mm -hmm. He's expected to be there this weekend. Notre Dame commit whose brother plays for Auburn. And I'll give you another one. Arian Carter is the kid that's uh, from Smyrna, Tennessee, uh, that Auburn recently offered. He's blowing up. He's a Memphis commit. Again, Smyrna, Tennessee, on three, just rated him as a four-star. Big-time programs are offering this guy. I mean, yeah, all the big ones, Tennessee, Florida. So he's he's picking up a lot of steam right now. His stock is soaring. He's going to be in Auburn this weekend. He's also visited Alabama recently. Apparently a big deal for him. Two things, Jeffrey. He wants to play early. Absolutely. So now, every kid's a little different. Some kids, mm -hmm. like a lot of offensive linemen, say, hey, I don't care if I play early or not. I want to be out there when I'm ready, not thrown out there. But this guy, that's a big part of it. Can he play early? Okay. And Auburn at Auburn, he thinks that there's a chance. And then, two, he wants to be, I, I believe, something in the medical field, perhaps a doctor. So he's going to be looking heavily at, at academics. So those are three big linebackers to keep watch of. And, and, well, I was told last week by a very credible source that Auburn will probably sign two high school linebackers. And then later on, after, you know, looking at the, the roster at the end of the year, probably need to take one more out of the portal. 
But two, and out of the high school ranks, they don't have any committed yet. If you get Alex Sanford, you only need one more. You're in it with Osbury. You're making a move with Arian Carter. And Auburn, uh, everybody offered him right after Auburn did, but Auburn mm-hmm. had been talking to him for a little while. So they had already started to build a relationship with him. So I think they're at least in it with him. you got to keep an eye on Tennessee, the in-state Vols, obviously. Uh, but they're in it with him. Uh, like I said, Jay Nasbury. And then also they're trying hard to get Lewis Carter up this weekend. I don't know if it's going to happen or not. Uh, four-star linebacker from Tampa Catholic, committed to Oklahoma, very much in love with Oklahoma. Let's not make any bones about that. But Auburn's continued to work on him. And, in fact, Christian Robinson was in the last weekend. So uh, it seems like Auburn's picking up some – I don't know what the word is I'm looking for here, Jeff, the phrase. Things are heating up at linebacker. We're going to see some real movement probably. in the Maybe next some year. momentum? Maybe. Maybe, Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see who all comes in this weekend. We talked about Aaron Carter. He was supposed to come in, or he was at least planning to last weekend, but ended up going to Alabama. And I think it had a lot to do with 11 a.m. Ki- uh, 11 a.m. kickoff. But when Auburn heard he wasn't coming because they were going to wait and offer him in person, um, they 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 went ahead and offered him on Friday. Of course, Alabama followed suit. Oregon, USC, Tennessee, Florida, um, all those guys jumped in. And this dude is a stud. And I think it took Chad Simmons – you know, he was a, he was a non-ranked kid last weekend committed to uh, com- committed to Memphis. After all these offers came in, I think Chad Simmons, our on three national recruiting director, took a look at him and went, "Wow, I mean, this is a guy who fell through the cracks," and immediately give, gave him a, uh, a four-star ranking. So definitely a guy to keep an eye on this weekend. See if Auburn can make a move with him. Some other guys coming in for unaf- I think there's, they're hoping Auburn is at least hoping to have a large contingent from South Florida coming in. Now, you know as well as anybody, Keith, that that might be hindered this weekend because of N. Yeah, it, it's going to be dicey because now the storm with it, uh, look, as we're recording this, it could certainly change. Uh, but, you know, heading over Fort Myers uh, means that South Florida is going to, that's uh, Southwest Florida. But that means Southeast Florida, you know, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Palm Beach, up to Cocoa. It means those areas are, and by the way, Auburn's recruiting a kid, Cedric Hawkins, at Cocoa. Um, that means that those areas are going to get a lot of wind and rain now too. And you just don't know how that's going to hamper travel. But one guy to potentially keep an eye on, if he makes it up this weekend, is a kid they just offered the other day, Edwin Joseph. <laughs> Six foot, 182 pound, quote unquote, athlete, four-star athlete at Chaminade Madonna Prep in Hollywood, Florida. Now, Auburn's done well out of that school before. Sean Shivers, you remember him. And I believe I believe the receiver. Is it Elijah? Like, Elijah Canyon was from there, who's now playing for Purdue. So it's a very well-respected program in South Florida. In fact, some would argue it may, it, it, and they're, they're challenging for the top program down there now with St. Thomas Aquinas. And then you've got uh, Cardinal Gibbons is, uh, I think, one state two or three years in a row down there. And then the other one's Plantation American Heritage, which this team just beat. They're loaded. Uh, give give shout-out to the coach there, Damian Jones. But uh, Edwin Joseph, Auburn is recruiting him at cornerback. We talked to him the other day. The on three recruiting prediction machine favors Miami right now. Uh, but Auburn was, uh, from what I was told last week, was that they would have a shot if they offered him. He wants to get up there, hopefully this weekend, for an unofficial. If he likes it, if first of all, he's got to get there. Right. And it would be a terrible luck for Auburn if they can't get these guys up there because there's a lot of South Florida kids that want to come up this weekend. Uh, you know, it's a night game. It works out perfect. It gives them all day to get up there. Uh, but this kid, if he he told me, he said, hey, if I like the visit up there, I'll go back for an official. Or a good, very good chance I'd go back for an official. He said Auburn is not too late. And again, a cornerback, and Auburn's going to need some corners. His stock is rising. Uh, you know, offers from Miami, Penn State, Texas A&M. But Auburn may have a shot. But they got to get him up there first. And then there's supposedly going to be a bunch of other kids from South Florida. Uh, but perhaps even Conrad Hussey, the Penn State commit. But we haven't heard – Anything more on him in a few days, I know. I know one guy who was planning on coming. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it. He's from Miami, I think Central. Uh, but Ruben Bain, the four-star yeah. edge, you know, he really was uh, excited about being up here. Not sure. I have yet to confirm with him if he will be able to make it. Again, the weather is going to dictate a lot of these travel plans for these recruits this weekend. So um, it could be a game-time decision. I know, you, Keith, speaking of game-time decisions, you mentioned on the corner over live on three message board that Ruben Bain – I'm not Ruben Bain – Quay Russell and James Smith are headed to Baton Rouge, I believe, this weekend for a game for, yeah. for, to play. And then they could make a game-time decision as far as getting back into town and coming to Auburn. 
Yeah, and, and I haven't talked to you previously about this, but my gut and your gut are probably aligned on this. My gut is they're going to probably be there. Yeah, okay. I, I think so too. But they do have a game. It's funny because Max Preps, which generally does a great job with high school football, they, they've got them listed as playing Park Crossing. Well, they've already, already played Park Crossing. So the game is actually a Baton Rouge Catholic, I believe. So that's an all night, you know, they what time would they get back? That's a that's a pretty good drive. If you get back at six, seven in the morning, how well did you sleep on a bus? How much time do you need to recuperate? Now they don't need as much time as you and I do. do yeah, I'll say just get me home. Dude. Okay. Yeah, those guys may be good to go by 10 a.m. I don't know. Uh, but you know, two five stars from Montgomery Carver. This would be if they make it, it would be the third game at Auburn this season for mm-hmm. each of them. They also both officially visited Auburn in June. And we need to point out this every time for you know, we could have some new listeners here. They do plan to attend the same school. Quay Russaw is a five star edge rusher. James Smith is a five star defensive tackle. Uh, we've told over and over they're absolutely 100% going to the same school. Uh, so, again, this, this would be the, you know, the fourth visit to Auburn for them since June and the third game. So, that, that's not insignificant. Now, they were at Bama last week. Based on photos I saw and stories I read, that went very well. That's going to be your main competition, obviously. Georgia's still in it. Going to be one of those three, we think. Now, Ohio State is going to get them on campus, and they're also pretty high on Florida, apparently. So it's really down to those five, but I think most people think realistically it's probably Alabama, Georgia, and Auburn. Uh, But, you know, know, they've seen two not-so-great games, right? Two not-so-great games at Auburn. so is that bad or is that good? Well, the atmosphere was pretty good at both games, so they like that. But I think they're going to need to see more out of the team, Jeffrey. I think I agree. You know, that's where we're at right now. They, yes, it's always flattering when somebody says you can be the cornerstone of the class. However, you also want to be pushed in practice by great players. You want to be part of something great. You don't want to go to lower level bowl games. So in their eyes, I think they need to see more from this team to think that the program's headed in an upward direction. Absolutely. Another couple of guys, speaking of Baton Rouge coming in this weekend, is to, to Darius Collins, defensive lineman from – he's down in Louisiana. I can't remember where he's from. But Auburn is extremely high on him. He's coming in for an unofficial visit. There's going to be a – there's going to be some guys, uh, uh, again, de- weather dependent. There's going to be a large contingent of recruits. I uh, hope, just for, for personal reasons, for making my job fun, that a lot of these kids are able to come. I also hope that the weather is permitting so everybody's safe when they do. And, and Jeffrey, here's a couple other guys we're going to be watching to see if they make it or not. Uh, Well, one, uh, Stanton Rimmel, the the offensive tackle that we mentioned earlier at Thompson High School in Alabaster. I mean, that would be a second game for him. He's committed to another school. We hear that he's been talking a lot with Auburn lately. How much a move are the Tigers – how much of a move are the Tigers making right now? Now, you just just put out your hot board before – uh, before we started the show, so what are you hearing about that one? He, he's man, Auburn continues to push for him. I think they took a real big hit back in the late summer when he was planning to come back for a multi-day visit. He was going to go to Penn State, I think, and then come back. He had visited Auburn, was going to come back early the next week for an overnight visit, and seemed really, really interested in Auburn. And then all of a sudden, it just kind of fell off. You know, he did. He had car trouble. He couldn't get back to Auburn, and then. You know, we really didn't hear his name again until he showed up for Penn State. But Auburn, uh, Will Friend, Joe Bernardi, all those guys, and uh, of course Zach, Zach too has been working. Zach went to the game um, this past weekend against Jay, Clay Chaltwell. So trying to get back in the mix with him, I think it'll be a lot. I think it's going to be a a, a slow recruitment with him. I, I don't think Auburn's like trying to flip him in, in you know, any minute or anything. And also, do you think kids are, I, and I, I do. So I'm going to ask you, do you think kids are kind of, look, they follow the internet. They follow, they know what's going on, right? Sure. A lot of them know that Auburn needs to win some games. To Especially take in-state off. guys. Yeah. They, they know that Auburn needs to win some games to take the heat off this, this staff. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think everybody's kind of, everybody's kind of in wait and see mode right now. This, that's yeah. why this is a huge weekend. I mean, Mm-hmm. Penn State, the Penn State game, and, and we're gonna we're gonna run out of time here soon. But the Penn State game on its own didn't mean much. You can lose games and still have a great atmosphere, and that's what happened. But it's the bigger picture, which is: does it lead to noise in the system? Does it lead to chatter? And it did, right? right. And that's where it impacts you in recruiting. So if Auburn can come out and possibly win this game or look pretty decent, that could help this staff out a lot. I think. 
I agree. Hey, real quick, Roger Robinson, he who the the I think he's a four or five star running back from California. He had yeah. planned he had planned to be in this weekend. That no longer is is happening. It seems like Auburn's kind of fell off with him. So not sure what to make of that. I think Auburn will be looking elsewhere for a second running back in this class. So uh but I mean that was a long shot to begin with. I think Auburn would have had yeah. to do a lot to get him get in with him. He's committed to UCLA from California. Uh, but hey, good stuff, Keith. We appreciate your time, man. We hope you continue to stay safe down there. Uh, for everybody listening, man, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We don't ask for tips or donations or anything. All we do ask is that you subscribe subscribe to our channel. Click subscribe. Hit those notifications. You'll get uh, notified on your phone every time a new video is uploaded. And we do these things on the daily. Free content on YouTube. And if you're not a member of Auburn Live on 3, please go give us a try. One week free as always. And then 50% off after that. Can't beat it, man. Really good deal. Hey, uh, we appreciate everybody listening. Got lots more coming this week, so go check us out. For Keith Niebuhr, for Zach in the back, I'm Jeffrey Lee. Man, y'all stay out of the left lane. See ya.